Hi, my name is Parshuram and I am a program manager at Microsoft. I work on the team building developer tools for creating cross-platform mobile applications using JavaScript technologies like Apache Cordova and React Native. React Native is a great way to build applications for iOS, Android, and Windows using JavaScript. The user interface for these apps is composed of controls in the platform components, making the app feel like other native applications. This native user interface is completely driven by JavaScript. One advantage of React Native apps is the ability to update this JavaScript code. Code Push is a service by Microsoft that lets developers push updates to apps instantly without having to resubmit the application to the app stores. Note that the Apple Developer License also has a clause that says it is OK to update code that runs in a web view or a JavaScript container, as long as the functionality of the app itself does not change drastically. Code Push has some other great features, like the ability to roll out updates to a percentage of users, or even smaller group of users based on a staging or production environment. The users of Code Push have often told us that in addition to pushing updates instantly, developers wanted easy way to perform other DevOps activities on their React Native applications. In this video, I would like to introduce you to Visual Studio Mobile Center. This is our first step toward realizing an end-to-end -end automation vision that gives React Native developers an entire tool chain to build around developer velocity. To get started with Visual Studio Mobile Center, we have to head over to mobile.azure.com and sign in with GitHub. React Native lets us build apps for iOS and Android, and we'll create two apps in Mobile Center, one for each platform. Mobile Center provides us various services like build, distribute, and analytics. Let us first set up continuous build process by picking up the GitHub repo where our code exists. We can also choose options for signing our app and distributing it to end users once the build succeeds. We do this for both the platforms. Once the build has succeeded, we can download the resulting APK or IPA files. We had also selected the option to distribute these releases to testers and end users during the build setup process. Hence, the end users will get emails with instructions on how to install the app on their phones. And here's the first version of the app, delivered to your phones using Mobile Center's distribution service. Next, let's install the Mobile Center Analytics and Crashes SDK. We download the SDKs from NPM and use React Native Link to add them to our project. During the setup process, configurations like the app secret and when to enable the SDKs can be specified. After the setup, we use the SDKs in our source code. Let's add three buttons to our application. The first button is for analytics and sends a custom event to the server. Real-world applications may crash due to bugs either in the native code or due to uncaught JavaScript exceptions. To demonstrate the crash workflow, 
let's use the other two buttons to simulate a native and a JavaScript crash. Once we commit these changes to our source code, the continuous integration system that we had set up kicks in and delivers the updated app to our devices. Clicking on the buttons on our updated app sends the custom analytics events and forces the app to crash. Heading over to the Mobile Center dashboard, we can see crashes and native stack traces showing up. In case of JavaScript errors, we can also see the stack trace showing the corresponding lines in source code. This is powered by the source maps that are generated during the build process. Analytics shows us details like daily active users, custom events, geographies, etc. Next, let's add the code push SDK in our app and link to it. We also add a button in the source code that requires us to query the cloud for any code push updates. After the code push SDK is added and the user downloads the apps on their phones, future updates to JavaScript can be sent instantly. We simply make changes and release a code push update. The user is notified about an update right inside their app. We can also view information about the install metrics and releases done with CodePush. Mobile Center follows the Unix-like philosophy of single-purpose, interoperable services that are easy to set up, integrate, and use your apps with. Through features like continuous builds for every commit, crash reporting for native and JavaScript errors, and code push aware user analytics, we want to extend code push to help React Native developers become even more productive. As I said earlier, this is just a preview, and there are many more features that we are working on. First, we are looking at ways to make code distribution easy. Add the smarts to figure out if a code change is code pushable and use the appropriate channel to send app updates to the user. We are also looking at adding some of the other Azure services, like push notifications and authentication. We also plan to add offline-enabled backend storage specifically for React Native using Azure Easy Tables. Testing is an important part of the DevOps pipeline. Apart from adding support for Jest for unit testing, we are also looking at ways to extend the popular Enzyme and Jest snapshot paradigms into integration tests that run on real devices using Xamarin Test Cloud. To learn more about Mobile Center, visit mobile.azure.com.